Good Saturday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. For context, this video is being recorded at 10 a.m. this morning. We've got 73 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury. We've got 73 degrees here at the Weather Center as well. Temperatures around the area ranging anywhere from the low 70s to upper 70s, depending on your location. Several areas coming in at 79 degrees uh, at this time of the morning. There are some isolated showers around the area, some isolated showers up toward the mountains as well. And as we take a look at the mid-Atlantic area overall, you can see quite a bit of rainfall around the region. We've got showers and thunderstorms making their way through Georgia, Tennessee, uh, even portions of Alabama and South Carolina. And then there's all the rain that's off the coast, which is what came through the county in the area last night during the overnight hours. We'll see some good rainfall chances again by this afternoon and evening. As a matter of fact, taking a look at Futurecast, this is at 7 p.m. this evening. You see the entire county uh, has rain going on at that point with some moderate to heavy rainfall and thunderstorms as well. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is just a model, not necessarily the forecast, but we do have some uh, really good rain chances uh, starting around 5 p.m. this evening and heading into the overnight hours and maybe even into the morning hours on Sunday with some isolated shower and thunderstorm chances continuing. So we'll certainly continue to keep you updated on that as we go through the next 24 hours. The weather headlines for today, we'll see partly sunny skies for the morning and early afternoon hours, highs in the upper 80s. Winds will be calm in the morning before becoming westerly this afternoon at around five miles an hour. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible starting around 5 p.m. this afternoon and evening with lows in the low 70s. Thunderstorm threats today, we've got a marginal risk for severe weather. It's a level one out of five threat from the Storms Prediction Center. As far as tornadoes go, no real concern for those. The main threats really are going to be the damaging wind and the flooding, and then we could see some hail, but uh, that's even a very, very low risk as well. Uh, again, the bigger th concerns are going to be the potential for the damaging winds and the flooding as the ground is still a little bit dry, but certainly uh, trying to soak up the water from yesterday and now any rain that comes in on top of it could certainly have an impact on it as well. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Today's stats, we'll see low levels of pollen. Main pollen drivers are grasses and plantain. The UV index will be at a very high level today. So if you're someone that's prone to getting a sunburn, make sure that if you're gonna be outside for any lengthy period of time, if you're heading down to watch the uh, Charlotte FC match this uh, evening uh, and you're heading on down to do the, some of the tailgating and uh, all the activities that's going on for the bash at the bank right there uh, outside the stadium with the food trucks and everything else make sure uh, that if you're going to do all that you apply some sunscreen if you are prone to getting sunburn if you're going to be outside for any lengthy period of time doing anything today just keep that in mind air quality levels are good today no concern for anyone uh, that wants to spend any time outdoors especially the sensitive groups the stats are sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn, and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call, 980-521-1937. Coffee cast at 7 a.m. this morning. We had 71 degrees for the temperature, cloudy conditions. By 4 p.m. this afternoon, we're looking at temperatures around 86 degrees with clouds increasing with those shower and thunderstorms uh, chances approaching. So keep that in mind. But if you're planning on getting an afternoon cup this afternoon, you may want to stick with an iced coffee since it's still going to be quite hot out there. The mowing forecast. We've got yellow lights for today and tomorrow, mainly for the rain chances that are going to be moving in for the afternoon and early evening hours tonight. And then of course, for the rain chances that will be going on during the day on Sunday. But by the time we get to Monday, we've got a green light out there as we're looking for dry conditions for both Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week before rain returns. The mosquito forecast continues to show high levels of activity as we take a look at the forecast. We've got an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms today. Most of that activity is going to come later this afternoon and evening around 5 p.m. and after high of 89, low of 68. On Sunday, we'll see a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, high of only 75 with a low of 66. For Monday and Tuesday, we'll be dry, high of 82 on Monday, low of 68. Tuesday, we'll see high of 89, low of 72. And then those rain chances return for the end of the week, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday, high of 90, low of 68. 
40% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms on Thursday, high of 87, low of 67, and then a 30% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms on Friday with a high of 86 and a low of 67. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, we'll tell you about that in just a moment. First of all, the forecast is sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Now, as I was saying, if you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rohan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rohancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Saturday. And as always, thank you for following Rohan County weather.